What's up everyone, it's Joshua here. For those of you interested in music theory, whether you're a music student, music educator, musician, songwriter, music composer, producer, or anything in between, this video is for you. So let's dive on in. My name is Joshua Vitrado and I'm a performing musician and a band director. Welcome to part one of my series on music theory where I break down the fundamentals of how to read and write music. This video is going to focus on the basics of how to identify music notes. Every new video in this series will build off of the previous one, so if the content here helps you in any way, consider sticking around to see how everything fits together. Let's start off with the staff, which contains five lines and the four spaces in between those lines. If you've ever seen music written before, you've probably seen music notes or pitches on different lines and spaces of the staff. But how do we know what the notes are called? Easy. The musical alphabet for our note names consists of the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then after G, we repeat back to A and go through G again, and so on. We do not use any letters from H through Z for our music notes. And we don't know where our notes go on the staff until we know what our clef is. For this video, we're going to start off with the treble clef. As I said before, music notes can live on lines or in spaces. And when we have the treble clef on the staff, specific notes live on specific lines and spaces. Let's start with the lines. We have a simple phrase to help us know where our notes go. Every good boy does fine. There are other phrases that music educators use, but this one is very commonly used. We take the first letter of each word, E, G, B, D, F. Five lines, five letters. Now let's plug in our notes from the bottom line, moving up to the top line. We see that our notes are in the same order from the bottom to the top. Now let's move on to the spaces. We have four spaces in between our five lines. In order to know what notes live in the spaces, we just have to remember the word face. In the same way we labeled the notes on our lines, we're going to plug in our space notes starting from the bottom space and moving up. Looking at the notes this way gives us an understanding of our lines and our spaces separately, but when we blend them together, we notice a pattern. I mentioned earlier in this video that the musical alphabet goes from A through G and then repeats back to A through G and so on. Starting from the bottom line, the note names move alphabetically up to the next space and up to the next line, E, F, and G. And after G, we go right back to A in the next space, and the notes continue to move alphabetically from line to space all the way up. With that in mind, when we move down the staff, the notes move in reverse alphabetical order from line to space from the top to the bottom. To wrap up this video, let's review from the beginning. Our staff is made up of five lines and four spaces, and the musical alphabet contains the letters A through G. When there's a treble clef on the staff, we use the phrase, every good boy does fine, to identify the notes on the lines, and we use the word face to identify the notes in the spaces. The notes move forward alphabetically going up the staff, and they move reverse alphabetically going down the staff. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or if it was helpful to you, be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a ton and I'd greatly appreciate it. Comment down below. What phrases do you use to remember the notes on the lines and the spaces? I know there are a bunch of them out there and I would love to hear what you use. Also let me know if you have any ideas for future videos, whether they fit within this music theory bubble or if they're just about music in general. If you want to see more videos, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell icon so you don't miss any future content from me. I'll also have a link to this music theory playlist in the description down below so you can check that out there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.